Hey! <laughs> Worst intro ever. Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, it's Silent Hunter 5. Um, the reason it's the worst intro ever. My crew's gone silent. I've gone ahead and um, reloaded the save numerous times. I've had them speak once, and I was excited until I went to talk to the bosun and the game crashed. So I think what we're gonna do today is head back to Willemshaven. I was gonna um, hit up Scapa Flow, because we could certainly use some renown. Unfortunately, I don't think that uh, it's gonna be too good for the old save file. So we're heading back to port and then we'll just try relaunching. So this should be a fairly safe route home. Maybe not. We'll have to extend it like that. And then like so, I believe, to avoid those aircraft. That'll do a good job of avoiding the aircraft. And as long as we don't run aground, and it doesn't look like we will. So yeah, okay. With a ha <laughs> ha doesn't look like we'll run aground, he says. And then he drives into Norway. Sails in to Norway, I guess would be the way to put it. Let's avoid Helgeland, like so, and then we'll go like that, and we'll sort out other things as we get there. Alright, so yeah, we're heading back to port, and then I'll be reloading files and such until the until the crew will talk to me. Because this is just Yes, sir. Like sure, we can do that. That's not that's not what I care about. What I care about is I mean not just the depth. But if the crew's not reporting anything to me, I find it rather annoying. All right, so we're headed home. I will see you guys when we get to port. Hopefully nothing ha nothing exciting happens along the way. We'll even kick it up to speed three so we get there at a decent time. All right, see you guys in Willemshaven. All righty, we're back at port. We can see the gray wolf there has sunk down, but at least the tiger stripes are on, so that's a good thing. We need some upgrades, sure. I would imagine. What do you want? Uh, sure mainly what do you have in mind? steam torpedoes. Um, sure. What do you want? Sure. What do you want? I don't think we can upgrade any of those. Our sensors are fine, and our camo will be fine. We don't have the Albrecht coating yet. So we don't need to worry. We'll keep that. Perfect. Okay. Yes, Captain. You won't recognize your girl when I'm through with her. I hope I will. We haven't changed it enough. Welcome back. What are my orders? Come in, Captain. We'll skip that, because I think we got something new. We might as well head down to the Celtic Sea. Um, should we? Hmm. I don't know. June 1st, April 1st. I guess we'll request another mission for the North. I don't necessarily want to go to the Celtic Sea until... France is ours. I don't like the idea of going through the channel with the um, enemy on either side of us. So let's just request another mission up north. Thank you. And so, yeah, actually, you know what? That is a great location. I am sure we'll find something there to sink. Perfect. All right. Well, I will see you guys on the other side of the load screen. See you shortly. All right. I think we're ready to leave port. Let's go Minimum ahead slow. Shut down diesel engines. Cited, and Six, five. check the situation. It's now February, so we spent pretty much all of January in port, which sucks. We gotta head over here bearing, five, one. to do some sinking, and that is a good location for that. Have we got any promotion points to spend? We've got one. Who's gonna be the lucky one? Oh, the tooltips. Oh my god, even the tooltips are working. Reducing loading time two, two, reduces nine. the chance of firing a dud. Both of those are pretty good. Um, I'd rather wait to get a full swath of points to put into Willy. So you know what? With one left, let's get a little bit more morale going Smoke with the, the crew. Because morale looks, you know, 72%, I guess that could be better. Uh, let's scope out the metal situation. I think all of the first row people have them. Uh, Wolfram doesn't, the bosun doesn't, and the navigator doesn't. So let's go with the bosun. 
We'll give him an Iron Cross. Perfect. And if we got any more, we do. So, Wolfram, you can get an Iron Cross. And apparently, giving them a medal drops their morale, which is confusing. Congratulations, Officer of the Grey Wolf. You've done an excellent job. Here's your reward. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's, that's horrible, sir. I didn't want a reward. Doesn't make sense to me. But what do I know? I am not a real U-boat captain. Shocker. I know. All right. We'll plot our course on out of Wilhelmshaven. Just straight through. Hopefully the escorts don't get in our way. And then we can head on up north. New waypoint. Course one four nine. New sort of course one like five so two. should be good. Maybe not that far because then we're gonna need to come down New waypoint. Course into this area one, two. and do some patrolling in the shallows north of Scotland. I am just fine with that. In fact, for reasons. Um, like that. Perfect. We'll come here, and then we'll start doing a patrol in that area. I think that's it. Yes, sir. Have you got anything else to say to me, Dieter? That guy is so stiff, you could put a rudder on him and call him a torpedo. Yes, sir. That is it. All right. Let's try one other thing here. Uh, in port, I went ahead and made myself a brand new save and reloaded from that and yeah all of this should whoops we're going the wrong direction I need the bosun Baldy where are you at are you gonna crash the game again I feel about the Royal Navy alright oh no I know what I need to do right Eric you've got to complain to me first Captain. I'll talk to the boss immediately. Do you think we stand a chance against the Royal Navy? How much combat experience do you have? How much support of this war? Okay. Well, at least your morale's up now. Uh, I need to talk to you about the watch officer. Uh, such behavior is unacceptable. No, I mean, seriously. He just needs to, to understand that he's not an untouchable just because he's got party connections. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Eric. Emil, how you doing? Your orders, no way to boost your morale. Yosef, how's the wife? Do you, what do you think of the That's new number it. one? You think we're ready? Okay, I think that's everybody. We might as well go talk to the kids. Wolfram, how's your brother? Uh, have you met the new lieutenant yet? Uh, have you heard from Captain Ron yet? Okay, and Benno, how are you doing? Uh, okay, well, yada yada yada, since you're the Captain. ears of the submarine, are you yes. afraid of the war? Okay, that should be everybody we necessarily care about. Up and happy, I will get back up on deck. With the crew happy and ready, we should be all set to head for the north. So I will see you guys when we get there, or if something exciting happens along the way. See you in a bit. Okay, so the RAF is back. And being its annoying self. Hmm. So in the last video, when I dove away from the aircraft, I had a uh, question about why I didn't use the anti-aircraft gun. And I hope to show you why I didn't use the anti-aircraft gun. Because currently, any aircraft gun is garbage. It's a very slow, single-shot, low-powered machine gun. I, I don't even know if I would call it a machine gun. That, um... Is garbage, basically. How are we doing? Our battery power is coming up. I tried to avoid this guy before. Yes, sir. Uh, man the flat man guns. The flat gun. I tried to avoid this guy before. Um, we inter or he intercepted us about up here. I was heading this way, dove down, 
altered course. And as you can imagine, within, I don't know, two seconds of hitting the surface, we had him back on us like crazy. So now, because we've got the two guns, wouldn't mind giving our crew a chance to fire at the aircraft. Of course, I need to target the aircraft, which is why I'm hammering the space bar with the crosshairs going red. Eventually, the game will recognize that I'm trying to target this aircraft, and then my crew can start. There we go. Okay. So, you guys are ready? And I've noticed the crew has this amazing ability to continually shoot, I don't know, 10 meters, 15 meters below where the plane actually is. We got one there that looks like it's on target. So we'll just, we'll stay here and we will wait for our anti-aircraft guns to do their job. That's, that's the plan there. In fact, I suppose I could man one of these. Well, my crew, oh, come on, reload the damn thing. Oh, we got two now? And yeah, now really would probably be a great time to dive out. Where's the aircraft spotted bearing? One, two, nine. Ah, these are fighters. At least one of these suckers will probably dive too far. That's the one I'm worried about. Right up there. Yeah, you see? They're garbage. Why don't I use the anti-aircraft guns? Because at this stage, they're not upgraded enough to do anything. Alright, this is not working. Dieter, oh, we can't secure the flak gun, I guess because the men are shooting. Also, you are injured. Great, okay, well, let's hope they can hold their breath. And what were my battery powers at? A whopping 60%. Lovely. Okay, this is going to be far more annoying. Oh, good. And our tiger stripes are gone. So I guess the harbor master was correct in the fact that I wouldn't recognize the ship when she's when he was done with his work. Because he took my hard-earned hard renown and removed it. Okay. Now that we're under, Engage electric motors. let's proceed to speed two. Slow speed ahead. Let's get under Five. even more and just adjust our course now. Current depth. So, these planes should have no way of knowing where we went. The trick, of course, is to just get far enough away that they won't be able to pick us up again. We've certainly spent enough time that those planes should no longer be there. So let's open up with the observation periscope. And wait until we get up to periscope depth. And let's see. Oh, jeez. I effing hate how low this periscope is. Um, but we're not we're not getting any aircraft contacts. I don't know. I'll leave this up for a little bit.
because... I mean, obviously, if there are planes, they might see the little wake that's being left behind here. Who knows? But it doesn't look like there's any planes here. So, if we take a look at the map, we're certainly not out of range. We're like right in the middle. This could be why I'm having such issues. I did not go far enough north. I'm trying to be sneaky here. May not have paid off. But yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's here. So we should be surface able to safely above. go back to the surface. And resume course. Let's see if that is indeed true. So far, so good. Recharging batteries. Airing. Two, six, three. Right. Way out over there. We should be able to dive and avoid this person picking up on us. But they are, without a doubt, looking. Engage electric oh, look at that. Shocker. Two, eight, right on us. Way out. With 38, 36% left in the batteries at 2044. Hmm? Maybe he missed us. It is night. That is a possibility. No, no, no. They found us. Dive back down. Well, I don't know for sure that they found us. But these asshats are certainly a hell of a lot closer now. So I would imagine they've found us now. Which means... Once we Shut get under, we don't have a lot of time to change course here. But let's try doing something like that. And then getting back on the surface. Surface the boat. Recharge and at what? 120 in the morning. We have picked up. Another flight, way at night, coming directly for us. Maybe he missed us. There's a chance that that flight missed us. Probably not so with this one coming in now. So let's get back under. You're going to buzz us? Possibly. Battery down to 50%. Well, at least we gained some battery power Shut out of that. Oh, engines. no. Battery power almost gone. We got another plane coming in. We only have really one option here, and that is to shoot it down. Our chances of running and hiding are gone. What with having no chance to... Repair... Or recharge the batteries. Aircraft spotted bearing two eight seven. Yeah. Oh, good. You guys are on fire at will. He's just a fighter. So I'd imagine we're just wasting our anti-aircraft ammunition there. We'll leave our guys on the flat guns, though. If those fighters want to come pay us a visit, they can be free to do so. Two more fighters. We will ignore and continue. We need battery power. F it. Just go. Just go. Just go. More? Aircraft spotted bearing one nine eight. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just ignore the aircraft. Far enough out, I believe. Nobody's buzzing us. And hopefully. Two, six, two. Good, we got our battery power back to one hundred percent. Aircraft spotted. Bearing three, two. 
Uh, any aircraft guys? We might actually have a target for you guys to shoot here. Let's find out. Nope. Nope, just cruising on past. All right, well, jeez Louise, effing hate that stuff. At least we didn't get engaged too heavily. We did take a little bit of strafing damage uh, from some initial plane runs. But for the most part, we're safe and clear, which is good. We can set up our little patrol there and scope out the sub. 80% fuel, that's fine. Battery power at 100%, that's fine. Everything else is looking good. Good! I think we're ready to begin patrolling this area, looking for some, for some ships to sink, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I've got something more exciting than me hitting time acceleration to get away from stupid airplanes. See you guys in a bit! Alright, being really bad on recording transitions today, we've picked up a ship, and so we're gonna go sink that ship. It's a lone freighter. I'm gonna get up on the surface because we slowly climb the conning tower here. Because, bam, as you can see, it's a little bit foggy today. So just over there is where that ship is. We can't actually see it, see it. So I'm not gonna engage this sucker with the Paris oh my god are you we're be dead. losing it engage the engines all right let's cut that even more aggressively the seas are not bad today but they are not yeah, good the man the man deck the gun deck thank you sir had my headphone audio cranked way too loud so I could find ships with the hydrophone. Now, now that we're on deck, the seas are just a little too loud for things. So let's get in. We should be nice and close now for Max to begin his firing operations. Slow us down to speed two here. Help Max out. Now that should have been a hit. I don't know why it went through the smokestack there, but it did. Just bring your aim down a little bit, buddy. Just bring your aim down a little bit, buddy. There you go. Look at that. Front mast down. Don't hope for that shot to happen again, especially after you've removed the freaking mast. Lovely explosion there. Shots into the superstructure. There we go. Nice work, Max. Yes! I didn't like that mast either. Now this is definitely not going to be a big reward. Probably the best we can hope for, I'm going to say, is 4,000 tons. And even that is probably far too generous for such a ship of this size. But it's dead now, so let's see what it was. Wow, not even close. A small, modern, composite freighter for less than 2,000 tons. But it's still something. So, what we're going to do is turn back around and uh, see if we can catch something else coming from Scotland. I will see you guys when I've got something exciting to share. See you in a bit. Would you look at that? They're showing as military ships. So we know that means these guys are troop transports. <clears throat> and we know 
troop transports are going to be worth quite a bit of renown. So, what we're going to do Torpedo depth set to three meters. is have that guy set. We can do the torpedo microwaver as well here. I think that would be a very good idea to do. So let's do that. Lock, break lock, fire. We're going to require this guy at about the same depth, but speed 2. There's about a kilometer difference, so I'm hoping those two will hit at roughly the same time. I don't think they will. I probably should have gone slow on that guy, but this should be enough. I mean, obviously, we're going to hit both of them. Torpedo impact. Right in the middle, right under the smokestacks. I like that. And one more. One more. Torpedo impact. A little up front. But a kill shot. So that's one of these suckers down. Good. And we got another one up over here. Whose engines have stopped. Good. I'm guessing we disabled the engines with that first shot. Which means with our third torpedo tube, we can set that as quick as we want. Same depth. Acquire the target and fire. No premature detonations. No duds. Let's just get a kill shot. And considering these are armed ships, I'd really rather finish these guys off with torpedoes and not have to bother with the deck gun. Torpedo impact. That's two down. And all of a sudden, our tonnage has gone up nicely. Greek armed merchants. Well, and a rural pindy. 16,000 tons. 11,000 tons. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not bad at all. I likes it. I likes it a lot. Let's scope out how things are doing with the old ship. Fuel is still looking good. Our battery power will come back momentarily. Once I get on the surface, we'll slide our reserve in and surface the boat. be ready to find ourselves some more ships. Basically, what I'm going to be doing here is just setting up patrol routes basically one, along three, this eight. section, uh, diving down periodically to do hydrophone scans, and we should be able to hit basically anything coming through. I think we're in a good position to do good old-fashioned proper blockading, which is, you know, that's always a good thing. There we go. Don't close on me. Thank you very much. Recharging batteries. Look at that. Look at, look at that. I don't, I don't have binoculars anymore. There we go. I remembered where I put them. Look at that. Oh, oh, I love it. All right, guys, I will see you when I got something more exciting to share. See you in a bit. Well, it took him a while, but the RAF is starting to take notice of us operating here. So I'm thinking that my beautiful blockade location may have to shift further north, which is fine. I'm fine doing it in deep water. And besides, we should theoretically anyway, catch more ships doing it that way. So um, let's dive down because it certainly looks like we've picked up a friend here. And then hopefully... We're able to, I'm guessing he's coming from here, uh, get ourselves out of their range in the deeper water. That's the hope anyway. We'll see 
if anything comes of it. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. I will see you guys when we reposition. So, I'm hunting for ships, but, uh, check it out! This is registering as a merchant. It's definitely not a merchant. It's a whale. So, we'll have to talk to Benno about how he identifies whales versus merchants. But it's even singing. Look at that. It's like... A little bit like Star Trek 4. So anyway, we can we can ignore the whale. The whale, we're not whaling out here, and uh, unfortunately, it did take me a little off course. We'll return over yonder to see if we can start finding Surface the boat. Slow speed some other ships. But that's neat. I've never seen a whale in the game before. I don't know if that's the mod or the game. That's cool. I approve. All right. We'll see you guys in a bit. As you can see, we've got another juicy ship coming our way. Now, I should get a range on this guy. Five clicks, so I think that limits the fastest speed, but we certainly could go medium and slow. Well, he's not necessarily going to be intercepting our sub here, or intersecting it properly, but if we reposition ever so slightly, we should be able to get a relatively decent shot here. I don't think he's seen us. So that's good. He is a ways out there. But our torpedoes Torpedo depth set to four meters. should be able to do the trick here. In fact, Closing tube one. let's set up both of those tubes. I wish there was a way for me to fire these in concert, but unfortunately I only know how to do a salvo and um, single. I don't know how to do a double shot. I don't even know if that's possible. I wish it was. There's one. Let's acquire that target again. And two. And that should be enough to sink this sucker get into the cheaty view and get ourselves nice and close to see if I'm correct in that assumption. We'll park ourselves about here. Nowhere near close enough. Those torpedoes are going to take a long time to get there. And I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't think this ship was maneuvering. And unfortunately, I can't... Wow! That's atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Okay. Let's try this again. Just the one. Is that one going to miss too? Oh my word. Whoever's the captain of this ship, he knows his tricks. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to keep up with this guy underwater. Surface the boat. So, that only means one thing. We're getting in a gunnery duel with an armed merchant ship. Recharging batteries. So, let's see how this is going to go. Slow speed the heck on. Man, Man the, deck the deck gun. gun. Thank you, sir. We might even need to kick it up to speed 3 to actually intercept this guy. 
pressure hull taking damage. Okay, well, they can definitely fire at us. How bad was that shot? Before I continue, uh, I took out five percent of our hull. Are you not in range there, Max? Fairly confident you are. What do we figure? About five kilometers out? Man, I don't know about this. Pressure hull repaired. That's good. Let's see if I can get that ship in. Their shot fell short. I can't tell if we're hitting or not. Come on. The range is incredible. And I wonder if it would be better to be firing high explosive at this stage. If I should stick with the armor piercing. I'm going to stick with the armor piercing. Ho! Damaged. Batteries damaged. How bad was that, Dieter? 85. Yeah, they're going to be taking about 50 or 5% of our home each time. So, now that we've got her on fire and given her something to think about, let's GTF under Periscope. as quick as we can. Thankfully, with some holes in the hull, we should theoretically go under quicker. And I want to take this opportunity to get cheaty and see if I can tell what kind of damage we may have caused this ship. She's still steaming. Engine's still running. But, uh, fire on the deck is never a good thing for a ship to have. And it even, my eyes could be deceiving me. Shut down. But it could Judging even be getting a little high in the water in the meters. rear. I think I'm just imagining that. I think it's doing just fine. The nice thing is, it will be coming relatively close to a frontal shot on us. So let's get to one, three, and four. Like so. Let's get ourselves a range shot. Three meters. Five kilometers again, so we will go with Closing speed two. two. Closing two, two. And we'll set up for a salvo shot Switching here. To salvo shooting. Now, we don't have too many torpedoes left, but if we do a proper salvo shot here, this should, in theory... Firing two, one, two, two, close, two, three, loading, two, four, close. Perfect. To single tube shooting. With a spread, I'm hoping he'll have a tougher time avoiding at least one of these. And we'll see if I'm correct in my assumption. Not even close. This captain... This captain knows what's going on. Ah, uh, well, I don't necessarily want to resurface and engage. Torpedo missed, sir. Torpedo missed, All sir. Stop. But I wouldn't mind New waypoint. Course, following this three, guy for as five, long as nine. we can. Because he's still maneuvering fairly well. And I'm sure... Batteries now operational. <laughs> We've been moving quite a lot underwater. I have a feeling our batteries have been operational this whole time, Dieter. Let's scope out the damage. Still moving. And I would imagine he's further away from us now. Not really. He can't be going under eight knots though, can he? 
He's still got the wiggles. And he's definitely still smoking. So, at this angle, do we attempt to fire off another torpedo? I think we do. Firing tube one. I think he may have misjudged a maneuver. Torpedo impact. Ha ha ha! Take that! That's an awful lot of explosions and noise. I think. Oh. That was a good kill. I salute you, Captain of the Rawl Pindi Armed Merchant Cruiser. That was a good fight. But, you zigged when you should have zagged. And because of that, your ship is now gone. Now, we did not come out of that undamaged, though. Our hull is definitely doing poorly. Our fuel levels are getting close to needing some replacing, but more importantly, our torpedo reserves are almost entirely spent. I think we may be returning to port uh, at the beginning of Recharging next episode. Complete. Although, perhaps, considering the issues I had today with the save game, it would be best for me to return myself. Now, I mean... So, yeah, I don't know. It, it's... This patrol started off poorly, but today... Today things are looking good. Let's send in a radio thingy. And I'm sure the BDU is pleased. Alright, well... We're gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna stay where I is. And uh, if I come in and... Next week, there's issues with the crew talking or whatever. I will happily return to port then. If not, we'll just hit up Wilhelmshaven. And uh, fill the tanks, fill the tubes, and come back out. 85% hull isn't, I mean, obviously it's not 100%, but it's not critical. We should be able to do some raiding as we can. Rest well, sweet captain. That was a, that was a fun little engagement. Um, so yeah. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings... What have you below? 269,719 total. Not bad. We did complete another mission. Uh, the Northwestern Approaches actually completed. It must have been those three ships that we just sunk today. Perhaps? I'm perfectly fine with that. So, thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.